Hi everyone, welcome to Dolls in the Cradle. My name is Anne, and it is Sunday. On this video, I am going to be sharing some things that I regret. So in a past video, not too long ago, I talked about buyer's remorse. And you know, some of you are never gonna have buyer's remorse, but I can't say that. I definitely have buyer's remorse over some of the dolls that I have purchased. And it's gonna be surprising, I think, to quite a few of you which dolls I have buyer's regret. So, I also want to let you know that these dolls that I am going to be sharing with you, if you are someone that I know in the community and you would like to purchase, or swap and this is not something I do very often is swap <laughs> but um, I am actually open to that people are going to need to email me I will not um, be communicating with anybody in the comment section of the video um, if I read your comment, I will heart it, but if you have any, any questions whatsoever about the doll that I'm showing uh, and you are someone that is absolutely serious about either a purchase or a swap of a doll, um, you will need to email me. And I don't mean like, just like, I want the doll, right? Or I want to make a swap. I mean, you need to give me some meat and potatoes in your, in your email. You need to show me, tell me, show me what you have that you're willing to swap with. Because these that I'm showing you, these are not cheap dolls. However, I'm... I'm willing to take the, the loss, right? I'm willing to take the loss, but only if I can get a doll that is a doll that I think is very well painted and a doll that I want. So on that note, everyone, are you ready to do this? Oh, let me show you. I, I've had this shirt, but I've had other people comment on it, and so I'm going to try to stand up and show y'all this shirt. So it is, <laughs> okay, so it's three black kitties, and I actually have more than three black kitties, but I always say that this is miso ramen noodles, so yeah, and on this shirt, it actually looks like there's cat hair on it. <laughs> but it's not. It's actually part of the design. And when I wear it out, I'm always like, I wonder if people think I have cat hair all over me. Like, you know, it doesn't really matter. Who cares what they think? Okay, so without further ado, hang on. I've got to get myself comfortable here. Okay, here we go. Bring it in. Oh, Ms. Melissa, Melissa Valentine. Look what I got. Look what I got. I got a, it's a sling you guys carry a baby in. But anyways, all right, so let's come down here. Boom. And I have it covered because I'm going to, I'm going to shock some people. I'm going to shock some people. And all right, so when I say I have buyer's remorse, what I am saying is that it's not the doll for me. It is not saying that this doll is not well done. I mean, that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is I learned that this is not a sculpt for me or this is not the uh, type of doll I want. Um, this is not made from 
a material that I thought I might like in a doll. So without further ado, I'm just going to, I'm just going to show y'all. <gasps> Gasp! No! No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Yes, I did. All right. For those of you that don't know, this is a beautiful partial silicone little baby girl. Very, very squishy. She is the Atlanta Sculpt by Sandy Faber. I mean, by Michelle, I'm sorry, by Michelle Fagan. Um, it's Atlanta. She's already, Mich uh, Michelle put this on there. Atlanta number 10, Michelle Fagan, and she was made in 2023. Um, she poured her when I purchased her. And, um, she's a she's a beautiful doll she's beautifully painted I had an issue with her having a lot of shiny places on her but I sent her off to another artist who was Angel and Angel did her magic in sealing her and I haven't had to powder her since I got her back from Angel. I think she's got a little shiny spot somewhere in here, but sometimes, uh, you know, you can't get all the spots because of the silicone, but it's nothing really. <laughs> it's nothing really. Um, she is beautiful. Oh my gosh. So she's very, very floppy. You better hold her head because her head's heavy and her head will, you know, fall off. So you can see her arms underneath her. Um, she is an absolutely gorgeous little girl. She's got a head full of hair. I cut her hair because her hair was way too long. And um, so I cut her hair. Let me show you all the back of it. Y'all can also go back and look at old videos of her. Go find them and look at them. Um, So why, why is she a regret? So she is a regret because even though she's absolutely gorgeous, she wears newborn size clothes, even though she's absolutely gorgeous, I'm putting this Disney baby zero to three on her. Um, I found out because you don't know these things until you, you get the doll. And so what I didn't know is that I'm not a fan of partial silicone dolls. And as gorgeous and as beautiful as she is, and she's so soft, y'all, she's so soft. Her mouth is open. She can take a little pacifier and a bottle. Um, she does have that open mouth. She is not the doll for me. So, needless to say, she is a authentic silicone doll. Michelle Fagan is her artist. Look at, I can't even stand to dress her. I can't because she's just so extremely floppy. And y'all, I love it when it is a vinyl doll, but I don't, I just can't. I can't do it. All right, so let's put this on her and it's probably going to be too big, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on her and see what happens here. Oh, she's got rooted eyelashes. She's got rooted eyebrows. So this is doll number one that I have buyer's remorse for. Um, I really wished because I did pay a lot for her. And I really wished that I had known that 
silicone as beautiful and as wonderful what the hell am I doing as beautiful and as wonderful as it feels um, a partial silicone uh, she is not for me y'all she is not for me <laughs> she's very cute she's very poseable And she's probably saying, woman, I wished you would find me another mother because you don't do anything with me. And I surely don't. <laughs> I surely don't. I am super glad that I had Angel reseal her because ugh, um, if somebody is uh, wanting to purchase her or do a swap on her, I am definitely willing to. To do that and you will get a doll that you don't have to every time you look at her she's you know shiny everywhere I can't be responsible if there is a shiny spot on her you know if somebody and I do actually do you know a trade or someone just outright purchases her um, I don't really care either way <laughs> as long as I like I said, um, I'll only do a swap if it is with a doll that is going to be of a good quality. I, I'm not going to do a, a budget uh, painted doll for a silicone doll. So, there we have it. Okay, let me get this on her. I think this is going to be too big, but I'm just going to leave it on her <laughs> for now. Um... We'll just leave it on her for now. And I'll hold her up again. Oh my God, she's so floppy. And I will show y'all what she looks like. Um, I've never put water or anything on her. Oh Lord, I have to pick her up. Okay, hang on. Just hang on. Let me get her organized in my arms, y'all, before I... Oh, Lord, your head. Okay, here we go. All right. So, this is what she looks like when she's in your arms. She's very poseable. She's extremely soft, I think she was like an um, an Echo or Eco Flex 20 with a slip, with a slip in there. That's how her artist did her. Michelle Fagan sculpted, poured her, painted her, rooted her. Uh, her artist is on the body. Y'all, I can't deal with her. All right, so here she is. <laughs> if you are someone that loves silicone babies... And you have a vinyl baby that you think uh, that you would like to sell or pass on um, and you're wanting to do a trade for a silicone that, yes, was, and I'm going to say it, she was over $1,500, okay? Um, she, she was about that. And uh, so that's a lot of money. So, you guys... Send me a message. Like I said, um, don't, um, I mean, you can put stuff in the, put stuff in the comments, but don't um, ask questions about her down here. Don't um, talk about you have this kind of doll or that kind of doll. Um, only serious, serious inquiries. Um, for this please and do it through an email do it through an email so there we have baby girl and this is remorse number one all right so let's go to remorse baby or I should say not remorse guys look how gorgeous she is I wished I loved her. I wished I loved her. But I, I, 
silicone is not my cup of tea. Even though it feels amazing, it's not my cup of tea. I like to be a little bit more rough with my dolls. I prefer vinyl dolls. I just do. All right, so contact me. Let me know if this is the Atlantis sculpt, okay? So if you are interested in the Atlantis sculpt, let me know in my email, all right? And I do have our paperwork. All right, let's go to doll number two. This is going to be a long video. All right, you guys. This is buyer's remorse. Okay, if you're wondering why this little baby is so pale, it is because she has not been painted yet. This is a full body silicone. She's a little girl. Um, she's not painted. She is an artist sculpted doll. I purchased her off of Reborns.com. Oh my goodness. So she is not a $1,000 doll, okay? She's not an $1,000 doll. She is new newborn size. Let me just cover her area here. She's newborn sized. Um, she's got an open mouth. Her fingers are open here on the ends, but towards this part, they are, they are webbed together. Um, she's got little chunky fat rolls on the inside of her leg right here. And on the other side, we have her little feetsies and then her face. This is her face and the back of her head and the top of her head and, oh Lord, her backside. I want to say she's a 20, right? Y'all, I know nothing about, um, I know nothing about <laughs> silicone, so she is about a 20. Um, I do have her little tiny, um, thing that came with her. I just put this on her just to put something on her, you guys. So this was also buyer's remorse. Oh, by the way, I did have the armatures put into her arms. As you can see, so her arms can bend up so she can pose. So if you are someone that uh, is looking to reborn a little silicone doll, um, she is, I'm not going to say she's the best quality. Um, you know, this is a... I think um, I'll, I'm get, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the information of this doll or of the artist so you can see the dolls that she does do on Reborns.com. So if you are someone that has a, that has a Reborn doll <laughs> that you purchased for four or $500, and you are looking um, to make a trade, I'm willing to trade if you are someone that is, you know, enjoying reborning, um, painting your own silicone, I can't even get this on her, painting your own silicone, 
then this might be a little one that might be of interest to you. If you want to just buy her outright, just remember that silicone dolls are flawed. Um, they have flaws on them. Uh, I'm showing you the best that I can. I'm not hiding anything from y'all. She is what she is, but I am just not, um, I don't, I don't want to get her painted for myself because I know that she's not going to be my cup of tea. Um, the best thing though is she's not as floppy as Atlanta. So um, she's going to feel a lot more secure when someone's trying to hold her. And like I said, she does have armatures. I personally feel like when they put the armature in this arm, they could have centered it a little bit better in the middle of her arm. Um, but it still works perfectly fine. So her head turns a little bit unpainted. So if you have a if you have a reborn or a cuddle baby, um, that is well done. That was around four or five hundred dollars. Um, and you would like to make a trade for this unpainted silicone doll. That is, it is a artist, sculpted, poured, she did it all. Um, let me know in a email, right? All you have to do is put full body silicone in the subject of your email and I will know who you're talking about, all right? So, as you can see, she's got a very deep mouth, you guys, so she's going to be able to take a full pacifier and all of that. All right. So, that is regret. Um, I shouldn't keep saying regret, but it is. It is buyer's remorse. I wished I had never purchased them. Not because they're not gorgeous, not because they she wouldn't be amazing just because I learned that this is not something that um, I want. All right, so let's go to doll number three. Oh my gosh, I know, I know some of you just absolutely gasped, didn't you? You're like, what? No! Don't do it, Anne. Don't do it. Leilani. Oh, Leilani. Leilani is a beautiful, amazing, very big girl. Um, and she is, she is, she's gorgeous, y'all. And if I just like to have big dolls dressed and sitting around, um, she would be perfect. However, I find doing anything with Leilani except looking at her gives me a headache. She is so gorgeous. She has all this long black human hair. I will leave her details, of course, in the description uh, to the artist and to her listing if it's still up on Reborns.com. Y'all know I haven't had her long. She is absolutely amazing. And you guys, I am willing to take a huge cut with Leilani um, for what I paid for her. Oh my gosh, she's so big. Um, I will take a huge cut. And I'll tell you right now that when I say that I will sell Leilani for $500, um, or I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to sell her for $500 plus shipping, okay? And she's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> she's absolutely stunning. I want you to know that 
for that price, y'all, because that's like half price. She's half price. I'm cutting her half price. She's stinking new. I've changed her just a few times. Um, she will come home um, in this dress that she's wearing with this hat that I purchased her. She'll come home with the shoes that are on her feet. And she'll come wrapped. Um, she is 32 inches of baby doll. And why is she a buyer's remorse? She is a buyer's remorse because, I mean, she's gorgeous. Y'all, if I had a place that I could set up a table and have a couple of larger dolls um, sitting around the table, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I can't do that because of my cats, and there's no way that I would let my cats around my dolls like that. Um, and so... I found out, you know, well, I'm going to tell you, the truth is, is I had already ordered my toddler doll from Pumpkin Doodle Nursery. And, you know, it takes a little while, right? It takes a little while to get a custom done. And in the meantime, there I am on Reborns.com. I'm flipping through, flipping through, and I see this gorgeous Leone. By Ping Lao and at the time I just I had to have her um, I, I wanted to have a toddler and I wanted a toddler now and I was still waiting on my doll from that was my custom so my custom doll um, that I named Arizona she's 28 inches 28 inches and she's the biggest size doll that I want to have in my nursery there's a huge difference between 28 inches and 32 inches. This is a big girl. Um, let me just kind of show you, and I know it's really hard for you guys to see all of this. Oh my gosh, but I'm going to try. Oh gosh. So you can't even really grasp how big she is, but here she is. I mean, look how far. She's 32 inches. She is a big baby girl. She's a big baby girl. So, oh my gosh. So, if anybody is interested in this beautiful baby girl, and she has the most amazing beautiful rooted human hair it's soft it's gorgeous she's gorgeous y'all she's just too big she's too big and that's why she is on my buyer's remorse um, list so if you're interested in Leilani for $500 plus shipping please let me know um, by emailing me. My email is always in the description below. Once again, Lilani, because I'm cutting her actually half in price, literally, um, she will just come with what she is wearing, and this has bloomers under it. This is a brand new outfit that I bought just for her. She'll come with her shoes that are on, and I will probably add another outfit that was sent with her, and the other outfits that she was sent with to me um, some of them my Arizona can wear. That's another thing. That's another thing. Having so many different size dolls means that I have to have different size clothes. And I found out something about myself. I'm not willing to purchase a lot of clothes for this, this 32 inch toddler size doll. Um, my smaller dolls, they all share clothes. They all can fit in each other's clothes. And um, it's just an extra, it's an extra buy and everything that um, I'm not willing to spend 
the money on. So if you're interested, let me know. All right, so those are going to be my, my three buyer remorse dolls that I have right now. Once again, if you're interested in one of them, please follow the directions and send me an email and only do it if you are very, very serious, okay? Because all three of these dolls, they are not budget-friendly dolls. Nothing wrong with budget. I love budget-friendly dolls. You guys know I have them. Um, but I'm not going to swap um, those other two dolls for a doll that is going to be of a lower quality than that because I'm already losing out, right? I'm already losing out of money. So, all right, that's it. That's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm sure it was very, very shocking. But um, y'all, sometimes you have to clean house and you have to admit that you effed up. And I'm sorry I said it that way, but that's what I did. And uh, I'm gonna try to fix it. There's a lot of people out there that would love to have a partial silicone as beautiful as Atlanta is and to be able to get it in a swap how fantastic is that all right so just remember you guys don't try to swap me any other silicone type dolls I'm looking for vinyl dolls cuddle babies and when I say cuddle baby I mean it has to be a well done cuddle baby all right um so pictures are gonna need to be um need to be sent and we're, we gotta have a good talk so on that note, I'm going to go. Everyone take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Please remember that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. And we will see you in our next video. Well, maybe not Leilani. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone.